finally he learned his lesson. Not every coin has a good sight on it. But with that moron gone, it's time for me to finally just focus in peace instead of dealing with a monstrosity like that nuisance. Glad that voting sort of worked out, even though it went to a tie and all led to a tiebreaker challenge, but at least Patrick succeeded. Hey, Meta Knight! Huh? Oh. Hey, Patrick. I want to congratulate you on being SMG3 in that tiebreaker challenge. I was surprised you actually did that. Huh. <laughs> Thanks. I got the encouragement from somewhere. But I can't really think my mind onto it. Well, whatever it is, I'm glad it helped you out in the end. We still need majority for us two in general. Now we have the right numbers to get rid of Movie Luigi next elimination. You are right, but I don't know about that. What do you mean? Like, are we really getting rid of Movie Luigi because us two are technically... In majority now, since SMG3 got eliminated? Well, sort of. You can put it to that conclusion. Oh, I see now. So technically, there's nothing for us to worry about. We're in the safe zone. Movie Luigi is not in a good position right now. He caused the tie. But if only he would have voted SMG3 and realized what he could have done worse for the team. Yeah, but that's not a story we have to conclude on now. He's gone, and now we got to focus on the near future, which is right now. So we might as well just go on with our secretary minds on the island and just move on from our separate ways. We shall the best look in the next challenge, Patrick. Yeah, <laughs> you too. I like the new confessional. It's so cool. What was I going to say again? Oh, yeah. Even though Movie Luigi is a nice guy and all, I can't get betrayed by Mennonite if he would do that. I don't know the good sides to the game and the bad. So, how else am I supposed to know where I'm going to lead up in the game? I'm a majority at least. So, that doesn't put me in a bad spot, right? Hey, Movie Luigi. Nick! You scared me. My sincere apologies. Um, why didn't you agree to our vote at the last elimination? Oh, voting SMG3? Well, I gotta keep up my little alliance with him and... Keep up with the vote, you know? I just didn't want to betray and stab him in the back. You saw the wrong of him. Besides, didn't he make a whole hate comment about you before he deported? Well, yeah, but that's just how he is, you know? But not everybody in the game can be trusted, Movie Luigi. You can't keep falling for these things. If you would have voted with us, you could have stayed in majority. But now you're stuck at the bottom. If... I guess, so, it's not my problem that you're going to go vote it off next time we lose. Me and Patrick, we're sticking together. As for you, you have your own problem. So, I might just note your words as soon as you leave. So, adios. Oh, mamma mia. I really don't want to go just yet. I'm starting to get the use of this game. But, if I really got to stand up for myself, then I at least got to make a big move. But, if I want to make that happen, then I really got to put something to the test if I really want to prove how I'm worthy to keep instead of Patrick in order to make Meta Knight realize. But, what can I really make up just for that simple situation? Well, Luigi's got it in the bag. Hey, <gasps> not trying to 
ruin the silent treatment, but can we have a talk? Mm-hmm. Look, I'm sincerely sorry for the ways I've been treating you, Colton, and even MK that just joined our team yesterday. I been acting like a total jerk and a psychopath. I always get treated like this back at home for how it used to be. But that's just my own problem. And I'm trying to fix that. And I'm trying to be the better person. I don't want to you lose you as an ally. Or else I'm dead meat when it comes to the next elimination we're going to. If that even happens. But Comey, I really trust you. And I can't let you stab me in the back if you do. But you're a nice, holy-hearted person. I know you could be quite sensitive to some things, especially when it comes to yelling, but I got your back, okay? When we lose, then it's going to end up in a tie if we vote together. We obviously know that MK and Colton are sticking together. So we got to make something up for us to stay in the game. Roger? If you stick with me until merge, then we'll possibly fi be fine in the end. And we have no worries about getting targeted right off the spot. We just gotta act normal. Okay. Hmm. Thanks for understanding. I really need a true friend in this game. Friend. Huh. I couldn't leave Comey alone without an apology. If I kept doing that to her, then I would lose her trust, and that would be a bad move for me in the game. So I have to keep it stable if I want to stay until merge. That's my possible income, or else I will be the next target. I don't want that. I want my team to see me as a good individual. Not a ruthless psycho person. Or if that's what they used to think of me b beforehand, before I started acting all comforting. But I gotta make things right. Or else this will be the end of me. Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Island of Paper. If you don't remember what exactly happened last episode, MK got the privilege to swap teams as she decided to make it before we started the next challenge. Then afterwards, the teams had to make their own song with everybody included along, either by using them on the web or creating their own. In the end, the Shooting Stars took first for their outstanding song by adding people along to their song, and the Laser Murders took second place. And then, the Athletic Warriors were left to lose and in the end, Patrick and SMG3 were in a tiebreaker, and SMG3 lost. Which concludes him to be eliminated, and we're down to our top 10 remaining in the game. So, with that out of the way, I think it's time for us to start the next challenge. Or not. You guys notice that we're in a different part of the island right now? Oh yeah, I was just going to question that, but why? Well, it's to conclude the theme of what I have planned for you later. But, I'm going to inform you on that eventually. Okay, but what about not starting the next challenge, hmm? Oh yeah, about that, MK. I have two special announcements for the remaining ten of you. But the other announcement will have to wait until the end. So I'll give you the first announcement now. As you guys are in the top 10, and looking at the teams are pretty much uneven right now as it seems. Today, we're going to be doing a team swap. You've got to be pulling my leg right now. Um, nobody's pulling your leg. You don't have any. Besides the point, Patrick, we're switching teams. <gasps> no! Why now? Ah, <sighs> well, this stinks. <laughs> Are you serious? 
Oh, come on. I barely even got to interact with my new team. That's what I was going to say. Well, you have to deal with it. I want to make the teams a little bit more even since we're getting to the near point of merge. But we're not merging yet. That'll be some time later on. But I'll inform you on that in the next couple of days. But for now, we're going to be talking about how we're going to decide new teams. Well, let me demonstrate. What really confuses me the most is how we're switching teams already in the game, and we're not even midpoint. So that gives me the conclusion that Maybe I need to start making up some more allies, since most of the people on my new specific team are probably going to be people I haven't interacted with before. So i got to step up my game a bit and make sure that I don't get booted off as soon as I make up with them. i got to make up some good conversation. I'm bad at making some myself. If only it could have been easier. Alright, brah. This is my chance. I could finally show these peeps of how this guy can carry their team to victory. They'll be so happy that the new people on my team are going to be excited for how I'm going to make our team on a winning streak, brah. Ha! Easy as that. This is nearly disappointing just by hearing the fact that we already have to meet up some new people. Already in the competition, just so my majority gets ruined. Wonderful. So, this will not be the only thing we're going to do besides making new teams. This will also be today's challenge. Oh great, who could have seen the twist coming? You know, there's always a twist in everything. So here's just how this will work. I will pair you up with somebody as your opponent. And your task is to try to knock them out of the arena, which is this entire space right here. The person that falls out of the arena and gets beaten by their certain opponent, they'll be on team two. While the, for, while the last one standing in the arena will be going to team one, which will be the winning team for today's challenge. All the losing competitors that fell out of the arena and were placed on team two, they'll be the team. That will be going up for voting today, and we'll be voting off the sixth contestant that will eventually be going home in Island of Paper tonight. As long with the special announcement later on. So with that out of the way, here are the pairings. Movie Toad, you will be going against MK. <laughs> I guess it'll be easy enough going against a pipsqueak. Ooh. Is MK seriously turning against me now that she's on that new team of hers? What has she become? Colton? Jumbo Josh. Hmm. This is revenge for flipping me over in that flip over battle, brah. Yeah. Yeah. Meta Knight? Uzi. Hmm. I guess I could try to take you down. Not only in a matter of time if I do it first. You four remain. Comey? Patrick. That's fine. Yay, I get to have a new friend. <sighs> and that leaves our last matchup to be Cuphead and Movie Luigi. Well, good luck, man. Yeah, you too, Cup. Now if our matchups cleared out of the way, it's time for our first battle to begin. I really hope that I can be on the same team as Colton so that we can keep up our little alliance so that we can have our majority stuck up together. Or else I may as well be just left out of the dust and it will not be a good ending for me. Gotta make Movie Toad pay. So, our first matchup is MK against Movie Toad. Begin. <laughs> See you later, old teammate. Ha! <laughs> oh no. Um. <laughs> Think that's gonna stop me?
No. Eh, no thanks. <gasps> well, MK succeeds in beating Movie Toad. You're on team one. Sweet. Which leaves Movie Toad to be on team two. Dang, Nabbit. Ha! That just proves that you're Mulo. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> that just even makes you more Mulo. <laughs> uh. Our next matchup is Colton against Jumbo Josh. Begin. Hey, Jumbo Josh. I know what happened at the football battle, but you don't gotta take it out on me. I will take it out on you, brah. You humiliated me in front of everybody. Take this, brah. Oh, crap. You're not going anywhere, brah. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, no, 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 no. See you later, brah. <laughs> no. Uh-oh. <gasps> take that, brah. <sighs> Colton, you're on team two. Man. And Jumbo Josh is automatically on team one. I knew it, brah. Well, that's lucky for you. Yeah, it is lucky for me. I'm totally not mad that Colton's not on my team. I'm totally not. It's not like it just screwed everything up for everything else that could have been planned, but... I guess things gotta be more complicated than it seems all because of Mr. Strong Guy ruining the moment. <sighs> Why do I even do this anymore? Now it's Uzi against Meta Knight. You may start brawling. <laughs> Let's see how you feel about getting shot by a laser gun. Masky face. I will do so. Seriously? Where the hell did you go? Right here. Crap! Not on my watch. Yeah, on your watch. What the? Get off my foot! Ha! <laughs> Never. <laughs> oh shoot! No! Ha! Beat that! Meta Knight, I'm sorry to say this, but you are on team two. Ugh, unluckily. Uzi, you're on team one. Hell yeah! Now we have Patrick against Comey. Begin. Well, hey, where are you going? Don't we gotta fight? Come back! Wow. Just wow. Patrick's on team two. Comey, you're on team one. Yes, nice job. Thanks. Oh man, why is it always gonna be my slip-ups? It's fine, Patrick. At least you did fine. You're right. And finally, we have Cuphead against Movie Luigi. Begin. <laughs> Sorry, but, uh, guys, we gotta take things the hard way. Oh, man. Time for my moment. What? Where did you go? Oh, I'm nowhere to be seen. Seriously? Oh. Well, I guess you will have to take your win now. Wait, really? You let me win? I mean, why not? I mean, you've been through a lot, so... Go ahead. Oh, yeah, sweet. You really think I was going to do that? Wh what? This is so hard to believe. <gasps> and you just got a Luigi. And from an outstanding move by Move Luigi, he's on Team 1. Cuphead, you're unfortunately on Team 2. Ugh. Well, Move Luigi... I guess I'll never trust you again forever trying to mess with the wrong cup. 
Well, uh, I guess that is your own problem to believe. Besides, it would have been clear being on a team with Movie Toad, but I guess I gotta live with that. And as you can see, our new teams have been officially set. For Team 1, we have MK, Jumbo Josh, Uzi Dorman, Komi Shoko, and Movie Luigi. And for Team 2, we have Movie Toad, Colton Gustafson, Meta Knight, Patrick Starr, and Cuphead. Now, since we don't want to go with the original boring brand team names, you guys have to decide a team name of your own. So, what will it be? Well, I don't want to be called the Lazy Murderers again. How about you, big guy? What do you suggest? How about the Mountain Breakers, bruh? I guess that's not too shabby. Let's go for that. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Mountain Breakers, huh? Alright, and what do you guys suggest? Ooh, what about the Goofy Goobers? That's not actually too bad. Come on, guys. I think we've got to be a little bit more serious to this team name. I sincerely agree. Hmm. All right, then. How about the stupendous fighters? Anybody object? I'm cool with that. Me too. Mmm. Uh. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Where are the stupendous fighters? Oh, wow. Stupendous fighters. That would have been a great team name. And if I were to judge that, then the Mountain Breakers would have lost. But you guys still unfortunately have lost the challenge. So, you five, I'll be seeing you at tonight's elimination ceremony. Good luck to every single one of you. And good luck with dealing with your new team from now on. If I wasn't put up against Jumbo Josh, I wouldn't be in this position. But look where I'm at now. I'm the only person that barely knows anybody here. Movie Toad has Cuphead, and Meta Knight has Patrick. So, I could be doomed, and I don't want that to happen to me. So, I gotta do something that I wish I never wanted to do, but I gotta make it work if I wanna save my butt from getting eliminated tonight. Well, this vote is sure gonna be difficult to handle, since, for one part, the only person I know on this team is Cuphead. Everybody else I rarely even know. And if we want to make this vote a little bit more less complicated, then I gotta work some things out by making some majority between the three people I don't know. I think it was Meta Knight, Patrick, and Colton. Who seems the most reliable? Hmm. Well, I really don't want to work with any of these new people, but this is the only way I can survive in the game. And I gotta seem chill so that they can actually trust and actually vote with me. Alongside Patrick, too. But the only thing I can really do is just try to make them trust me and Patrick in the best way possible. So I know some convincing methods that will for sure work in our favor. Uh, hey, Cuphead. Huh? Um, what? Well, I, um... You what? Come on, spit it out. I was wondering if you wanted to vote with me tonight's elimination to make up majority, since you're the only person I know on this team that's going to be complicated to meet new people. I really don't trust our new teammates. Well, you gotta get used to it. I know you got used of me, you, Jumbo Josh, even MK, and maybe even Kyle, but we're off to a whole new start, and we gotta do something good for us. If we wanna stay in this game, of course, and I'm gonna be in, at least in the top two. How do you know that for sure? Oh, it's called Strategy Movie Toad, and I have strategy. Um, if you insist... What are we going to do? Are you actually going to vote with me? Hmm. It depends who you want to vote off. Well, I really don't know. The three that we're talking about right now, they may seem like good people and all, but if we're voting together since we were 
past teammates, then we gotta work something out. I was hoping we could vote off Patrick. The dude's stupid and he costed himself to be on this team. What if he holds us down? Well, that may seem like something, but maybe we can do something that can make him not get voted off. Wait, so you're saying that you want to vote somebody else besides Patrick? Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Everyone deserves a chance, right? Well, I, I guess you're right. See, now, um, Meta Knight or Colton, which one? Colton's a threat. Let's get rid of him. All right, Colton it is. I'm definitely screwed up now. I don't know what to do. My, and my whole reputation's gonna be ruined. Uh, why did it have to be me in this position? Hey, are you in a tough spot right now? Um, yeah, I really have no allies, and I don't know who I can add up for majority for this vote. Well, if you need numbers, then I can be your personal help. Me and my old teammates and so-called help for majority, Patrick, Hi, are willing to take you in for this vote. Besides, I don't think the other two stand a chance to survive this elimination at all. Really? Well, I guess it won't be that big of a cause. It sure won't. It's a kind of a obvious vote if I have to say so myself. But in the end, I think it can be a little trick up my own sleeve. Okay, then, who do you prefer? Well, maybe I should do... Let's do the mushroom head guy. I hate mushrooms, especially on pizza. Who even adds mushrooms on pizza? Am I working with him? Well, you're not exactly working with us. We're pulling you in for majority for this vote. Uh, oh, just to stay in the game. Right, right. So are you in, or are you out, Colton? I guess I'm in. I'm taking it at all costs just for me to survive and to remain in the game. Great. Even though you just lost a precious ally of yours back then, we can make this work out and change it for the better. If you insist. So this is going to be a three to two? Who knows? Maybe we can cause one to flip. <laughs> well, I guess that can make things better. But I have the right choice. Well, that being seemed friendly. Well, I guess so, but we're not focused on how they act. We're focusing on us to survive in this game still, and I'm not going to make you be in the chopping block for a third time in a row now. Okay, okay. We just got to do something to convince them. I got a brilliant idea. If Colton's on our side still, then we can convince either one of the two to go on our side. Oh, that's a great idea. See, I'm the one with the brains. All right. Catch you later. La la -dee da la la -dee da I don't know if it's right to vote with Meta Knight and Patrick or not. Well, I'm stuck in the middle for what it seems like, and I guess the vote's all up to me. So, if I want to make this vote a little bit more interesting, then I gotta talk to both groups and see which one I prefer. Hello, Movie Toad and Cuphead. What's going on with you two? Pfft, nothing. We're just discussing tonight's vote. Why are you asking, pal? Well, I'm just asking if maybe you can want to reconsider this vote. I mean, I'm in the middle, and if you two are voting together, they're voting together, and I'm stuck in the middle so I can change the vote for all at, at once. Oh, no. Movie Toad, we gotta let Colton join our vote. 
so we gotta make it a change of plans? I suppose so. What change of plans? <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> so who do you want to vote off? Oh no, I'm not telling you to vote off in my favor. I'm asking you guys who you want to vote. Not me choosing for you. Uh, about that. Um, what are you trying to say? Well, um, we gotta go. Bye. Okay, pretty weird. Cuphead, what are you doing? We could have pulled him in for this vote. Well, we got to keep it hidden. We were originally going to vote him, but now he wants to vote with us. And we can't just tell him that we were going to vote him off. If we tell him that, then he's probably just going to let one of us go. <sighs> That's right. Oh, God, we're stuck in a sticky situation now. Come on, Toad. Think. What's the best situation possible? Well, we gotta get out of this position fast. We gotta, we gotta get back to Colton and lie. I guess. If it only saves our butts. Let's go. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I, I forgot to mention something. By the looks of it, it seems like we're in a dangerous position right now. Only because that we were... Originally gonna tell Colton we were gonna vote him, but if we tell him that then He may just convince Patrick and Meta Knight to vote one of us off and then One of us is gonna be left alone. So we got to make this right or else We're goners at least from one of us If I don't want that to happen, I'm an adventurous spirit and I got to keep my head up in the game or else my adventurous adventure will end and I cannot let that go by. Hello, the stupendous fighters, and welcome to your first ever elimination ceremony as a group. Remember, whichever player receives the most votes, they'll be taking the boot for tonight and will be taking the drop of shame. But since we're in a different part of this island, the drop of shame will be pretty different for today. But we'll get to that soon. But for now, Let's reveal the votes. The contestants that are safe tonight are... Meta Knight, Colton, and... Patrick. Wait, what? Yay! We're down to two. Cuphead and Movie Toad. This is quite a shocker, but not really at its finest. This doesn't make any sense. Why are we in the bottom two? I am as confused as you are, but how did Patrick escape the chopping block this time? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <gasps> Why, you little- Hey now, we are not going to be in any sort of argument as of right now. You two are on the chopping block tonight. But who's going tonight? Well, the sixth contestant. Eliminated from Iona Paper, tonight is going to be... Movie Toad. What? Oh, no. Cuphead, you're safe. <laughs> well, uh, sorry, but... It's gotta happen. Wait, what are you... I'm sorry, Movie Toad, but you've been voted off. So, make sure to say your final goodbyes to your team, then we'll get the drop of shame ready for you. Uh, I really don't understand. Um, how am I in this position, guys? I really don't know how I'm getting the boot here. I really tried to make this team go all together, and I didn't know it would be falling. Movie Toad, there was only one option. It was either you or Cuphead, and we chose you to go home. Why? Well, you just don't seem appealing to us. And besides, we heard for who you were going to vote off tonight, originally. But wait, you, you know who was going to vote for? Well, I think I heard enough. When you came up to Colton and told him that you were originally going to vote off me... Then he told me 
and Mennonite for what you were going to do. So we talked to Cuphead about getting rid of you for trying to sabotage us in that favor. It's kind of odd to say the least. I was originally going to vote off myself, but I guess you were a better option. I still hate mushrooms. I hate to break it to you, but this is the only way I can split you two up so that I can keep my friendship with MK strong instead of you getting in the way of it. So you only got rid of me because of that? Pretty much. You were going to be a big threat and merge anyways, so we had to let you go short. And you really think you could try to vote me now, huh? That's exactly why we're in the bottom two. Who even told you to vote me? Well, Cuphead, I kind of realize that you're kind of a weak one. What? Well, I, I don't know how I can put this in the right words, but your meltdowns are outrageous. And every time that you tr try to make a statement, you end up at the wrong every time. A wrong doesn't make a right, you know. So I just decided maybe I could just switch off to make a better decision of getting rid of you so that you can get rid of tonight. I thought I had the clear vote, but I guess you guys flipped on me. We didn't flip on you. We were going to vote you, like, anyways, so it wasn't technically a flip. You know, from me flipping on my previous teammate, from him flipping on me back, I can see why I deserve the out here, and I can take it. You know, you guys are magnificent players for making this move, and I can't be wrong, you guys actually played well, trying to mess me up in the end, and you got me to it. So, great job on beating me on that. But my time here was magnificent. It was like a whole new fantasy. And I could have just explored all the differences around this island. Which I did for the past couple of weeks. But for now, my time has already ended. And now I gotta go. Well, I appreciate you, Cuphead, for sticking on my side for quite some time. And alongside Jumbo Josh. But he's exactly not here at the moment. So, I can't really say that. The people that I'm rooting for is Jumbo Josh, of course, Movie Luigi, and you, Cuphead. Me? Right after me flipping on you? Even though that you did, you're still a great friend, and you played a good move on me, so I can't honestly be mad. Well, it was nice knowing all of you. I hope you guys have a magnificent time being in the top nine. And as a new team as well. Farewell. <laughs> Bye, stupid mushroom. You barely even know the guy. Still. Well, there goes Movie Toad. Now you guys can pack your things and head back to your new individual camps. And now, let's go eliminate Movie Toad. I hate to break it to you, but... It was kind of an obvious choice. I mean, who am I kidding? Who wouldn't vote the mushroom? It was only for the lack of trust, and Movie Toad lacked on that. So, it was the only valid decision that we could make. And we kind of did it all together, so I'm proud of us for doing all that. Honestly, I kind of agree more now I feel about it. Huh. I actually feel great about myself now. I'm actually in a group of people that trust me. Huh. I guess this feels better than I expected it would. Welcome, Movie Toad, to the new drop of shame device. On this different part of the island, of course. Holy bandana. Why is it so tall? Well, just to... Make this a little bit more suspenseful, you know. But this one caught my eye, and I'm technically using it for this part of the island only. And you're the first lucky one to go down here. Ooh. Alright, any last words before you jump? 
Uh, well, I wasn't expecting to catch eye to eye with me, but I guess they had a rightful decision to let me go this soon. And I'm okay with that. I mean, it's not a big deal. I've been through much worse. Well, even though my adventures, unlike this one, were like the best things I've ever seen, this was way better. And I got to experience a lot. I tried to cooperate with my team and my new one as best as I could, but I guess I couldn't do it in the most part. I tried, and that's the best thing that could be added in a tinsy little detail for my experience. But for now, getting blindsided is the worst thing that could happen in this game, and getting flipped on your own previous teammate that you couldn't even trust in the beginning. But that happens, and I was fooled, and that happens a lot. And I kind of deserve this, so there's nothing wrong with me going so soon. And for now, I must take my departure. I must go on an another amazing quest that I can experience another day. Hopefully I could see that in the near future, the bright light upon me. Thanks for everything, Orange Toad. You're the best. All right now. Bye-bye! Well, there goes Movie Toad. And now we have finally reached our top nine. Or will it be top ten again? That's right. The last special announcement was a little something for the six recent contestants that got eliminated during the show. Let me show you. Uh, oh. Uh, what? Oh, this is kind of comfy, but where am I? Oh, great. We have another pipsqueak here with us. Huh? What are you looking at? Uh, who are you? You don't know me? You don't know me? I am the magnificent SMD3. The one that got eliminated before you were... And I was the most robbed. <laughs> I deserved better. Not in this imbecile prison. Honestly, SMG3, you kind of deserved it. And I'm glad Patrick beat you in that tiebreaker. I'm glad he took my words very well. Oh, would you shut it, Priya? I'm still curious for what we're doing here right now. Yeah, I was going to ask the same thing, dude. <sighs> I want to get back to my Fortnite game. I can't even get access to anything. Ah! Hello, you six previous eliminated contestants. Now, do you guys wonder why you guys are here right now instead of where you guys should be? Uh, yeah, I want to know this instant. Well, let's just hope it's urgent, dude. I agree. Well, I do have great and magnificent news for the... Six of you eliminate contestants. Do you want to know what it will be? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of getting curious now when I think about it. Well, one of you eliminate contestants is going to come back into the game to be in the top ten once again. But there's a twist. Huh? What would that be? Well, even though this is a rejoin and one of you is going to come back, we're not going to do a comeback challenge. The viewers are going to vote who to come back into the game. Oh, wow, really? This is going to be a wild ride if I have to say so myself. You could say that again, Charlie. That's exactly why I'm letting the viewers choose who to come back. You can only choose two out of the six eliminated contestants to come back, max. So, you could choose either Junior. Come on, please, I need to come back. I was the first one eliminated after all, and I do not deserve this torture of being stuck in last place. It's like a loser placement, and I deserve better. End a story. Kyle Brofloski. You know, dude, even though I got betrayed by my entire team back then, I want to redeem myself after what just happened. 
I need to give myself confidence in this game if I want to return. But that's only if I get at least your guys' attention, dude. If only I could dream. And besides, I am a useful Jew after all. Take that, fat ass! Referring to Eric, by the way. Priya. You know, it's kind of bad that I wasn't expecting my own elimination, but I really want to come back. I don't want my parents to be disappointed in me if I still stick in this certain placement, even though I was in fear lately robbed by SMG3. Would you shut up about that? Anywho, I am an athletic person that should come back. I have a lot of skill, and I can help the team that I come back to in any way possible. If you would just let me come back to this game, then everything will be fine. Charlie Brown. I know I wasn't the most skilled player on my team, but I really want to change that this time. I really want to stand out against the rest and do better. All I want to do is just redeem myself and not get fooled once again. I wasn't down when I got betrayed. I mean, I have certain emotions, and I just hide them. And I want to do a little bit decent when I come back if I could. But that's only up to you. I wish myself the best of luck, though, if I be able to come back at least. Probably not. Good grief. SMG3. Well, there's a lot of reasons why you should vote me, and only me. One, I am the meme master, and I make everything special. And two, I only am here right now because of a stupid sea star that got confidence by a girl that isn't even so-called athletic. <gasps> you take that back. Ooh, make me. Besides the point, I am a better component to just let back through instead of any of these losers. I deserve more recognition and not be stuck in this living hell with most of these pipsqueaks. But seriously, please, I need to get out of here as fast as possible so I can get my revenge on that stupid ass Caesar. And last but not least, Movie Toad. You can vote me if you want, but I just got here. I want the rest of the people to have a chance. Besides, I already had my adventure ending on the spot, so what's the whole point of coming back when I recently just got eliminated? But if you vote me, that would be really appreciated. I really just want to make up with Cuphead if I do come back, but you really never know what's going to come in the sides of everybody. I just hope the best of me. If I don't come back, that's fine. I still got plenty more adventures waiting for me in the future, like I said before. Alright, now that we've heard their reasons why they should come back, it's time for you to vote. Vote either Junior, Kyle Borflosky, Priya, Charlie Brown, SMG3, or Movie Toad to come back into the game. Whichever contestant receives the most votes will be able to come back and will reach the top 10 as expected again. Remember, you can vote only either one or two people max to come back. Voting will end in three days, so you have plenty of time to choose wisely on who you want to return. So yeah, now that, that we've got that out of the way, thank you for watching this episode of I Want a Paper. I'll see you guys in the next episode and see who will be coming back into the game. Make sure to vote one or two people to rejoin. Peace out. See you in the next episode.